Good morning, Asia. Actually, midday for you now. Sorry, a little bit of a late start. Uh, welcome to Privateer FX, our Asian coverage, pre-European Open, which you'll hear from my colleague in a few hours' time once I post this. We've got the RBA coming out um, right now, actually. So let's actually take a look do this real time. We don't get to do this too often where uh, the RBA meeting is coming out as we are recording. Unless I have the time wrong, but should be coming out at here any minute. Uh, not expecting anything out of them. The, d the dwelling approvals numbers were down again. The Australian dollar is up here at, uh, closed up at 70, uh, 73.40-ish. Uh, let's take a look at the daily charts because these Antipod, Antipodean currencies have struggled of late. And you can see here uh, the Australian. So here it is. Uh, leave the cash rate unchanged 1.5%. RBA says low rates are supporting the economy. It says progress on unemployment and inflation expected to be gradual. Steady policy consistent with growth and inflation targets. Business conditions are positive. CPI expected to be a bit above 2% in 2018. Um, really no reaction. I mean, uh, literally it hasn't moved. One source of uncertainty is household consumption, and I think that's something that... Uh, the RBA is probably concerned about. Um, they do have tighter bank regulations, which are helping uh, contain the housing risks. But I think they're they're a bit worried about the housing bubble in some of the major cities, and uh, saying individual debt levels are high, household income has been growing slowly, but debt levels are a bit high. Overall, I would say this is kind of uneventful. Um, you know, the Australian dollar has been, was just completely smoked yesterday along with, um, along with, uh, the Kiwi dollar. So you can see here we had a bearish engulfing day closed pretty much on Friday's low slight positive here today. We couldn't take out that low Kiwi dollar looks a little bit uglier. I mean, it was, it's, now, it's a bearish engulfing day. However, we're coming, this is coming after the big break up here at 68.35, and we had a, you know, a nice down move over the past week or so. Um, again, these, these currencies look weak to me. Um, a lot of it has to do with the trade. The rest of the dollar pairs, euro dollar had a kind of an inside day. Again, it's World Cup fever. Um, here's the British pound. Didn't do much of anything. Kiwi dollar we looked at. Dollar Canada. You know, the charts are not that compelling. This dollar CAD level here looks like a break trade to me now. You know, we, we had this big down day on Friday. Trade a little bit higher. I don't mind selling rallies here. Um, dollar China took another leg up. I mean, this is just becoming parabolic. Um, supposedly they were defending around the 670 level, and here we are trading uh, 670, uh, 672, basically. And there should be some resistance up here around 675. So, you know, as long as dollar China stays bid, I think the other dollars will stay heavy. So your dollar, Aussie dollar, Kiwi dollar. Um, what else we got here? Dollar yen's not doing much of anything today. A little bit of a doji day forming early. Uh, S&Ps are down small today. We had a uh, We had a decent reversal higher in the S and P mini. Like it got hit pretty hard. Was below the 200 or below the 100 day. 
uh, close to this old low from last week and then reversed higher and NASDAQ looks pretty similar um, you know big tail big reversal higher so you know it's all started with risk off and then kind of turned back to risk on oils just continue its March I like selling this soon um, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for a red bar we've had five uh, six straight days of up bars and eight of the last nine of the last ten bars have been green so certainly not going to fade it here uh, you'll hear more from us on the European Open uh, good luck and uh, we will speak to you tomorrow cheers